Greetings fellow mayors, it has been an amazing three seasons published here on YouTube and today we will begin a new series. Season 1, the organic road layout series, was a 100% vanilla city with absolutely no mod. Then season 2 was the Fisher Enclave City, which utilized the use of visual mods and unlimited ground resources. When I first saw the Fisher Enclave map, I noticed this area, which was so inviting to create an ore quarry, and we accomplished this in the best possible way. And more importantly, we completed both cities with at least 100,000 population and maintained at least 90% traffic flow with no city issues. While in Season 3 was when I participated in the Green Suburb PDXCon 2021. In this season, we will activate a few more mods which you can find in the video description just to progress a little quicker. If you are a new player or a casual City Skylines player, but are having some difficulty with traffic or city management like education issues, lacking of goods, not enough workers, death waves, and whatnot, then this season may help improve your game mechanics. The map for this season will be from the airport's DLC, and to honor tradition, we name our city after the map name and we also include the current date of when the city started. The custom map theme that I will be using will be the North Guard Boreal theme from the Steam Workshop. While the game is still paused, we will begin the city with the standard two-lane road, which unlocks some of the other roads at this milestone. Then we will go to the budget tab and we are going to reduce the road maintenance, electricity, and water budget down to the minimum 50% while we are not going to touch the night budget because day and night cycle is not active. And looking at our starting tile, we eventually want to unlock the left and right tiles. Uh, therefore, the choice that I will make to start no U port city will be with the use of a three-way interchange or intersection excuse me and trying to imagine which direction it's going to go and starting from here i will build my road and taking note on the cost which is 1800 and then we want it to go in that direction so keeping it on the straight line we'll use the same budget cost which is 1800 and then from this side we are just going to eyeball it it's not going to be completely the same but as long as the cost is relatively similar and then from here i am again just going to eyeball a triangle about so it's around in this direction going in there and from here there so the idea is instead of all the vehicles merging here if they want to turn right instead of going to this they just take that road and continue their merry way and of course we need to connect these roads together so i will do so there and connect this and let's not forget to change the direction all right and now as we want to continue our collector or avenue i'm going to be using the curve road tool once again try to note how much it costs so this cost us 3180 to reduce that, we are just going to use the two-lane gravel road as our guide. So this costs us 1160 So I am going to use that instead and we are going to use the same exact thing to the other side. So I'm, I want to and also trying to have the largest curve as possible. Okay, I am happy with that. We are not using straight roads and I'm going to start from the bottom here. So there are many ways to start a city. So you can use a roundabout, which I did with Fisher Enclave City, or you can just you can just use a standard uh, three-way interchange or anything. But there is only one universal truth or similarity in how every city should start, and that all depends on what direction your roads are. So this is the right way driving. Therefore, if everything is right-way driving, then the exit will be from the left. 
and therefore uh, just assuming or knowing that trucks from the industry have the most traffic therefore we want to put our industry on this side or on the left so when they exit they don't ever have to crisscross here and we'll just go on their merry way actually I, we could also connect the road to go in this direction so it doesn't even have to go in here you know we may do that eventually but in any case yeah let's continue building our industry area so notice our the distance of this is very different which is absolutely fine but the way i'm putting the roads has its own uh, strategies for so for instance this i am going to look at this and try to consider it connected so i have an issue where it, it snaps like that and to solve that go to your uh, toggle snapping and you can just turn them all off and from there now i can easily build my curved roads without having to worry of the snapping okay that is more than enough for now and again i'm going to create our curve on this side we're going to start it off from here we don't want to use too much money okay and again looking at the original origin of the roads or trying to make it like a good looking network so since it's from here i am going to start it off from there and try to look at the direction where it's going so i could make it turn in that and from here i also want to create my border but i will not be building close to the bank of the river because we do not have enough income to terraform therefore yeah we're going to avoid that completely at least for this episode and again looking at the other roads from the other side so this goes in this direction so i will make it go like that and here this goes there so it makes sense that it kind of breaks off here and this we could have at least two two dividers okay so we ended we ended with this weird thing here but for now i'm actually going to ignore it and we have 30k left from our 50 or 70k budget so i'm going to plop down our power source i'm gonna put it right here and we also need our water i'm going to be using the water inland treatment plant and of course we need a water tower i will temporarily place it here then we are going to connect them all together and we only have 5k in our budget which is terrible therefore i think we're going to use a grid grid piping let's not forget that we also need to connect this by power so connect it like this 800 left yikes that is terrible okay we have enough power there i think we can start our initial residence right here and we can just power that there and then now we have 620 that is as close as it'll ever get so we already reduced our power budget water and everything and we can now resume the simulation at times three speed as soon as the first home appears i am going to continue zoning i'm going to mix in a few commercial zones whenever i see a four by four or two by two that is where our commercial will be it appears that we went in the wrong direction i should have been zoning in this way let me just de-zone that before people actually start to move in that that is completely fine
So some time has passed and we are now in the positive budget. Our income is still in the negative but it is reducing rapidly. And now we just reached a little hamlet which gives us a boost of income. And from this milestone you will notice that we have unlocked the medical, elementary and landfill. And the very first thing that you actually want to do is other than checking your budget tab. So we, we see that we have electricity issues so it's in the yellow so we need to increase that ever so slightly i'll increase it up to around 70 ish and our water a little higher as well because i anticipate to be there to be some water needs and from here we want to build our landfill immediately because the first issue that your city will start to encounter is trash so place that down first because if you start to do other things, you may run out of budget. Yeah, I think that is what we need the most, which was to extend our pipes. And now we can just continue zoning. This, we have enough budget to fix this. I'm not even sure why it did that, but we can definitely just delete it and redo it. You know what we have mods and i'm not using it uh yeah for the next one we should fix that with just using this oops where is that using this one and we we would fix that almost instantly all right so now we just want to continue expanding growing our city so again i the commercial areas are scattered around i try to not keep them too close together and just selecting like the small pockets or small zone areas for our commercial. When necessary, increase the budget of the water and electricity. Actually, I'm just going to pump it up to 100%. Because he, we should have enough in the bank to pay for it. But if you are strapped on cash, try not to keep it at 100. And look at our city grow. It is attractive. We, we didn't upgrade this. Actually, we can afford to do that. So let's, why not? But we will, oh, we upgraded actually. I accident click on so we are now a worthy village which gives us a tile and services are available we have the fire and police departments and we also have industry available uh with the money that you receive you should definitely always place down that that police department and i will place her uh, it could be anywhere let's put her here at the corner and the fire department i will place it on this side near the industry area which seems appropriate there we are and that leaves us with 10k you always want to bring down like buildings that are necessary immediately before you actually start to use uh, your money and then you may not have enough budget to fix that so now we are having electricity issues i pumped up the budget and there you go so it fixed itself and we from here we just continue with zoning and expanding here we can create some edits to our roads so that looked a little awkward and i want to redo that probably make it go more straight following this at least and if we look at a road layout there you go that looks extremely attractive i like that here it's a grid but it is an organic grid so far our traffic is non-existent i'm not even going to click on it because we only have 1000 population well actually i clicked on it uh, then we could turn off the traffic light or actually let's try to make this the main road yeah Making this the main road would cause them to stop. 
what happens. I'm actually not sure. I probably did that wrong. Yeah, let's put the stop on this side. Okay, we have a huge demand for residential. It's actually maxed out. So I'm going to play it on times one speed while I continue our road layout. Okay, since we have our zoning in, let's check our pipes. Then we will just continue to expand. We are actually out of money. Okay, that's that's okay. We have the roads needed and the pipes plop down, so we are all good. And we have reached Tiny Town. We have parks available. Let's take a look. Got the progress of our city. We actually did not build as much here. We could start to kind of make our way on this direction. I think we have, yeah, we only have a hospital available. Uh, we could place that down. It doesn't really matter if we don't. So I'm just going to place her here. Okay, then we're just going to continue zoning and I'm also going to start building our area here. However, I am also going to start planning for the future. So this direction, I want to place high density buildings. So high density will be here. And since we have high density, there will be some commercial and unique buildings and whatnot. And because of that, we need transportation and I want to put a train or a metro station around here. Therefore, I need some ample space for a track. Um, we could use underground metro, but that is not something that I like to do in my city. I have made cities without any tunneling and we are going to stick to that format. And as you can see here, trucks are starting to kind of slow down in this area because this is the only choke choke point out and if we want to reduce that i am actually going to create an alternate exit on this area there that should help reduce the amount of trucks going there when it's not necessary like they only go in this way if they need to deliver goods to the commercial areas notice how they drastically reduce the number of trucks now if they want to exit they can easily do so going here and this one is functioning quite nicely. Notice how the cars are going here instead of taking this route. And we have we appear to have some electricity issues. Let's check our power budget. Yes, it's quite in the yellow, going in the red quite soon. And we have enough money to put down a new power plant. So I will just place that anywhere, probably here. As long as it's not like intersecting our roads. So this area is going to be completely replaced. So when we have our industry all set up, we will eventually dezone all of this and replace it with residential, commercial or offices, whatever is needed. Basically, I will. Yeah, actually, that stays like that. You know, I'll keep it like this for now. I'm not sure how I want to divide it. Oh, ac no, actually, that's not even a question. It's right here. Our guide is on the other side. Our citizens want to go shopping badly. They enjoy our city and they just want to see more shops. And our water has also dropped, so I'm just going to place in our water tower right there. Again, that is a temporary location. We will eventually decorate the centerpiece here. But for now, we are just trying to survive. 
go up in milestones and build our road network. I actually don't want to focus too much on this area because that still depends and this road is ample has ample space for a train line to go through And we are now a boom town, which opens up airport areas. Uh, it's actually rather strange to me that the airport is available at this milestone. I'm not even sure if that's even possible to make anything efficient, especially with the cost for building. And you don't actually earn anything until you reach the third level of your airport. So we are going to avoid or actually ignore building an airport for now. That would most likely be on the final milestone. But we'll see. Uh, things may change. So on this side, you notice me dropping down a lot of commercial. Simply because if I put residential on this side, I will have to destroy them especially if it's only low density and i mentioned that i want to do high density on this side and yeah that would mean that i have to kind of kill off some of the families living here but commercial areas you can definitely demolish and re-establish them again and it won't harm the city but at least if we don't have to dezone residential then we will not have to suffer suffer a slight death wave It appears that we have some traffic on this side where vehicles want to go across therefore i'm going to give them another alternate ways to exit which will be here so they don't necessarily all have to take that route so now they can go here you know what let's turn off all the stops because that is also you know no let's not keep it like that Okay, there you go. So that relieved the stress on this side. And now it's flowing much more fluidly. Turn this one off. There you go. So city is thriving. It is doing well. This one will eventually populate. So I saw that we have some garbage issues right there. So this may not be enough. We are using 15 of 15 trucks. Therefore, we need another one. And I will use this one. Even though we have the budget for this. But I really prefer to use this uh, in the beginning. We'll only get two. Then after that, we'll start using the recycling center. And we apparently have the cemetery available. So with that said, I will place down our first cemetery. I can place it here. And this, uh, the child or the elder care building is a necessary thing. If you want your citizens to kind of live longer. And if they live longer, it will provide ample time for new new citizens to get educated and they can take over the jobs uh, almost without any issue because if your citizens do not live long enough the the jobs that they leave behind uh, will not be filled in immediately and you will have some issues we have electricity problems so we're going to put another one uh, as much as possible do not raise your budget over 100 percent try to keep it maximum 100 and let's check out our budget we have we currently have 3,000 weekly income and our bank is at 100k 
and that is more than enough to afford to upgrade the dirt roads to the standard two lane pavement roads and also then after i'm going to start adding in some trees it will just be crude detailing it, we won't we're not going to take it seriously just we, we are just going to add trees just to fill in the gaps between blocks and the roads just to make it look uh, a little more pretty but of course in the future we are going to do add more like fences and whatnot also on the lower side which is our industrial area you'll notice that it is clean because we have the hide it mod active nevertheless the pollution is there but uh may i remind you that we are going to upgrade or replace those dirty industry with just regular residential and commercial after we have established our in industry dlc area so that will be later in a few episodes Uh, one thing i mentioned and i actually forgot to plop down was adding in the elder care building so i will place it right here so you have to take notice of the circumference or the large circle and that is the area where it can cater and you also need to add in a child health healthcare building so these two structures were introduced in the sunset harbor dlc which is kind of like the solution to help reduce death waves in your city so if you're having issues with that try to add them in and see the difference and i yeah this is what we have so far in the first episode and let me clean this area just a little more we'll just add a few more roads This concludes today's episode of how to start a city and let us compare it to the first style in the previous seasons. In the first series, I upgraded a few blocks to high density but the overall road layout remained the same. The highway actually just continues straight in this instance. While in season 2, I opted to start the city with a roundabout and decorated the center with tram stops. Season 3 is an incomplete city, nevertheless it still looks spectacular with just two tiles filled in. All three cities are mostly vanilla, yet the layout and design looks like it was modded. So if you are new to the channel and enjoyed the beginning of the city, and if you are looking forward to joining this amazing journey as we complete a new city, please feel free to hit that subscribe button. Leave a like and comment down below if you are new or a regular to the channel. We also have social channels which you may join and be a part of the community. Thank you all for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.